Bonjour. Today we'll be taking up the first lesson of the textbook. So that would be the textbook is A Propos and the very first lesson on page 5. Dossier 1. Toi, moi, nous. So, toi stands for you. Moi stands for me and nous stands for us. So you, me, us, that is the title of the lesson. So what are the things that we will learn by the end of this lesson? Se présenter. We will learn to introduce ourselves. Se présenter, introduce oneself. Présenter quelqu'un, to introduce someone else. Saluer, to greet someone. Poser des questions, ask questions. Épeler et compter, to spell and to count. Comprendre et remplir un formulaire. Understand and complete a form. The cultural aspect. Le tu et le vous. When do we use tu and when we use vous? Des noms et des prénoms français. The French names and surnames. Les Français, les Européens. The French people, the Europeans. So these are the things that you will be able to understand and do at the end of this lesson. Moving on to page six, pelmel. Pelmel is just a mishmash of words. So the words that are given there, I will be reading them and writing out the meanings of those words. The very first word on the top right corner, june means day. Then you have salut, that is hello or hi, informally. You have below that, bonjour, that is good morning or good Day. It's a formal greeting. Then you have enchanté. Enchanté is pleased to meet you. So immediately on the right of that, on top, you have nu. That is we or us. Below that you have toi, that is you. Below toi you have monsieur, that is mister or gentleman. Then you have on. On is man. Francais is French. Musician is musician. Age is age. Habite to reside or 
live at or in address is address then you have bonsoir that is good evening then you have moi that is me to the right of moi you have merci that is thank you then you have au revoir that is goodbye below moi you have no that is surname below that you have madam that is ma'am to the left of madam you have ma priye that is marriage below ma'am here you have épouse to marry or wed then to the right of épouse you have s'appelle to call oneself profession profession étudiant student female chinois chinese female femme lady woman or wife identity identity passport passport and lastly you have enfant child so these are the words that are given to you on page 6 and those are the meanings that you need to know moving on to page 13 page 13 les français the french people en france il y a 64 millions d'habitants la population est plutôt féminine il y a 51,4% de femmes 25% des français ont moins de 20 ans et 21% ont plus de 60 ans 
Les femmes vivent en moyenne jusqu'à 84 ans et les hommes jusqu'à 77 ans. Les Français sont des citadins. 75% habitent en ville. 2 millions de personnes habitent à Paris. 11 millions pour Paris et sa banlieue. Lyon et Marseille ont plus de 1,5 million d'habitants. La France métropolitaine est un petit pays avec 22 régions et des paysages très variés. Des montagnes, les Alpes, les Pyrénées, des forêts, des côtes, la mer Méditerranée, l'océan Atlantique, des fleuves, la Loire, la Seine. So that is the text that you need to know for the dictation also. Now let us look into the translation of this passage. En France, il y a 64 millions d'habitants. In France, there are 64 million inhabitants. La population est plutôt féminine. The population is mostly feminine. Il y a 51,4% de femmes. There are 51,4% women. 25% des Français ont moins de 20 ans. 25% of the French people are less than 20 years old. Et 21% ont plus de 60 ans. And 21% of them are over 60 years old. Les femmes vivent en moyenne jusqu'à 84 ans. The women live on an average up to 84 years. Et les hommes jusqu'à 77 ans. And the men up to 77 years. Les Français sont des citadins. The French people are city dwellers. 75% habit en ville. 75% of them live in the city. 2 millions de personnes habitent à Paris. 2 million people live in Paris. 11 millions pour Paris et sa banlieue. 11 million including Paris and its outskirts. Lyon et Marseille ont plus de 1,5 million d'habitants. Lyon et Marseille have more than 1,5 million inhabitants. La France métropolitaine est un petit pays avec 22 régions et des paysages très variés. The Metropolitan France is a small country with 22 regions and varied natural landscapes. Des montagnes, les Alpes, les Pyrénées, the mountains, the Alps and the Pyrenees, des forêts, forests, des côtes, the coasts, la mer Méditerranée, l'océan Atlantique, the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, des fleuves, la Loire, la Seine, the rivers, the Loire and the Seine. So that is the first lesson and its translation. Moving on to page 14, faisons le point. These are the questions that are based on 
the culture of France and the lesson that we just did. The first question. Como vous demandez à quelqu'un sa situation de famille? How would you ask someone their marital status? The answer to that you can write in two ways. Et vous mariez or you can say quelle est votre situation de famille. So these are the two ways in which you can ask somebody their marital status. The second one, on écrit address ou adresse. So the second answer would be A D R E S S E address. This is how address is written in French. The third question Ekrive Tramo ki commons pa p. Write three words that begin with P. Pair. Parler, poser, parler, poser. There are three words which begin with P. Écrivez cans. You have to write the number in words. Cans. Écrivez trois mots de deux syllabes. You don't need that. Sixth one. On dit je suis vendant vrai ou faux. It is faux. We always use the verb avoir with age. So it would be je vendant. Seventh one, Chilien est le féminin de Chilien, vrai ou faux, vrai. Écrivez célibataire au féminin. Célibataire. So, the eighth question, écrivez célibataire au féminin, it remains the same in the feminine form also. Conjugue un verbe au présent, je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle. So, you need to conjugate any verb in the present tense in all the forms. I've taken the verb parler. Je parle, tu parles, il, elle, on parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il, elle, parle. The tenth question, on dit tu s'appelle Eric, vrai ou faux? It is faux, it is false. You say tu t'appelles Eric. The eleventh question, mettez un stylo au pluriel, des stylo. So this is how it is made into plural. And the twelfth question,
the first question. Il est journaliste, écrivez cette question sous deux autres formes. Est-ce qu'il est journaliste um, est-il journaliste The 13th one On peut dire salut le matin et le soir Vrai On peut utiliser bonjour pour dire au revoir Vrai ou faux Faux Luca habite il parle avec Monsieur Martinez. Luca utilise tu ou vous. He has to use vous. Écrivez les noms de trois pays où on parle français. Write the names of three countries where French is spoken. La France. La Suisse, la Belgique. So these are the names of three countries where French is spoken. Il y a 30 millions d'habitants en France, vrai ou faux? There are 30 million inhabitants in France, true or false? False. Écrivez. Un prénom masculin et un prénom féminin. Write one feminine first name and one masculine first name. So you can say Pierre, that is prénom masculin, and you can say Sylvie, prénom féminin. Comment s'appellent les habitants du Danemark? What are the inhabitants of Denmark called? They are called Danois. Il y a 23 lettres dans l'alphabet français. Vrai ou faux? It is faux. We all know there are 26 letters in the French alphabet.